sophisticated texture, color, precision, world-class desserts that you would see on the cover of a magazine. Incredible. So after the pizza and pasta, we're ready for dessert. And beginning tonight, some of the top dessert makers are competing to be named best baker in America as season four of the Food Network show premieres. And since they are calling for the best, of course, one of the contestants is representing Las Vegas. Katrina Tayo joins us right now. Katrina, how exciting is this? Uh, and also tell us how you became a contestant in the first place on Best Bakers in America. Hi. Hi, right, Jason. Thank you for having me here. Um, so I was born and raised in the Philippines. And uh, I mean, uh, Food Network approached me a couple months ago. And here I am. <laughs> wow. OK, now, but how long how long have you been in Vegas for? I've been in Vegas for about nine years now. OK, nine years. And uh, but you are so you already kind of had it had it in you that you were, uh, you know, making these desserts. How did that all begin? Um, my grandmother was the one who inspired me to be a good baker and she helped me learn the basics of the baking. And what was her specialty? Chiffon cake. Oh, <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nice. And this season, Carla Hall is hosting. Uh, what was it like working with her? She's amazing. Um, Carla is one of the most kindest and she's very, she, she's just very approachable chef. Yeah, she's, she's awesome. I'm not even into food shows and I know her, so that's a good sign. Um, yeah. Okay, so when you were young, you had your, you said your, gra is your, your grandma with the chiffon cake, right? Mm -hmm. Is yes. that, now did you make that cake and, and then decide, hey, I want to be a baker, or did you have your own concoction, and then that spurred your future? I mean, I put my little touch here and there. I didn't grow up eating a lot of sweets, so I had to put a lot of ingredients into everything that I do in baking. So, I mean, you know, like, it's just good to add more flavor into just the chiffon cake. Sure. There's nothing wrong with more flavor, right? Nobody's going to yes. boot, boot that out. Okay. Now we're actually no. seeing some of the <laughs> we're seeing some of the uh, desserts that you have made. They are really are serious works of art. So where did you learn those skills? Because you know it's it's presentation and taste, correct? Correct. Yes. Yes. Definitely. So I started my pastry journey. Um, I my first job was at Bouchon. And then I worked my way up. I worked at Robuchon, and then now currently I am the executive pastry chef here at Sushi Samba. Oh wow! So I've probably had your desserts at all those places because I definitely yeah. have been to Robuchon and um, and then at Sushi Samba. So well, excellent. Well, um, the uh, it premieres on the Food Network tonight, so we're all going to be watching and rooting for you. And good luck. Thank you so much. All right. Okay.